Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to clean up your stash, man. Whether you guys are running low on space or whether you're completely out of space, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to clean up your stash a little bit to make quality of life that much better. As always, make sure you guys leave a like on the video and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. In this video here today, we're going to go over basic tips, maybe some middle ground tips and some advanced tips. We're going to give you kind of a whole wide variety of them. Now, I'm going to be honest, if you have the flea market, that's going to help you a ton, but there are going to be some tips you can take advantage of without the flea market. So let's hop into this first one. This one's for everybody, and that is buying a Lucky Scav junk box. I have five of them. They give you 196 slots, which I think is four slots less than a standard stash. So if you put that in perspective, someone with a standard stash, this is what their stash size basically is, minus four. So you can see that I need a lot of space for all this junk that I have, man. And at the end of the day, I've been doing my best to clean these up. And you can still see they are all a giant mess. So Lucky Scav Junk Box, my number one tip to every single one of you. If you don't have one, if you don't have two, if you don't have three, I know a lot of you guys probably have anywhere from two to four, three to four. Uh, but if you don't have one yet, you need to pick them up. You can buy them from Therapist, and they are fairly cheap. If you sell all the starting gear you get from an EOD account, you will have enough to afford a Lucky Scav Junk Box right away at 1.1 million. So definitely 100% recommend those to stock up on your barter items. Now, this next one is a straight up rookie tip. If you guys don't do this, you are really struggling when it comes to backpacks. Backpack stacking. If you guys don't know, you can put backpacks inside of backpacks with a rare exception of some, such as the pillbox. So right here, you can see I got backpacks for days, man. It doesn't stop. They just keep going. Shit ton of pilgrims. And we got some other ones in here. Uh, it just keeps going. And you can see I have a couple other spaces in there. You can throw some shit in. But stacking your backpacks is super efficient on not having to buy a backpack every single time you want to go into raid. And it's only going to take up a certain amount of space. So make sure you guys are stacking your backpacks. Next is going to be cases in general. I'm not going to really focus on a specific case. We can get to the thick case here in just a second. But cases in general. I'm going to show you guys here at the top of my stash of all this ammo. And I'm going to be honest with you, I might have a hoarding problem because we have four ammo boxes here. We have like a bunch here, none in there, and none in here. But you can see I got a lot of ammo boxes. So what I'm going to do just to show you guys how much better your stash base will be with a simple ammo case, with a simple mag box. We're going to go ahead and buy an ammo box. Boom. All right. That's right here. Now all this space in the top of our stash, we're just going to filter it in. Now, obviously, like this, make sure you guys are lining up your ammos. And a lot of these ammos don't even deserve a spot in this. And this is something you can clean up later. But if you're trying to get a quick fix on your stash, go ahead and buy yourself one of the cases that you need. In my case right here, ammo case. I also kind of need another mag box. But a lot of these mags aren't really priority. So I think we'll skip it for today's video. But as you guys can see, filling this thing up is already alleviating so much stash space and it's just a 2x2. Two two. And look, we already basically cleared out a 3x10. I mean, that's 30 slots, and we're still going. I think the ammo case holds 49 or 48. I think it's 49. I think it's um, just one under 50, if I'm not mistaken. We can check it out here. But you can see all this space, man. Look at all this space that we just cleared up with a simple ammo box. And you can see I have a shit ton of meds and a shit ton of mags. You can buy a med case. You can buy a mag box. There's so many different things, man, that you can do to clean up your stash. And let's see. So the ammo box, I think, like I said, I think it's 49. Yeah, it's a 49 container size. This little 2x2 two two just created all of this space for us. Now, we can go ahead and sort our stash. And that's another thing. If you guys don't know, sorting your stash is going to give you a lot of space. Uh, it's not always perfect. Like, these mag boxes can definitely go along the side here and give us that much more space. But sorting your stash in general always a good idea now we have a shit ton more space here at the bottom that we can use to sort out all this stuff that i just got out of raid with so another big one is the thick case you get one for hitting level 35 and completing a uh, private clinic which you have to do healthcare privacy task to get to that but private clinic from therapist will get you a thick case which is i think also the same size as the lucky scav junk box yes 196 and you can put so much shit in here you can see i have cases and cases we got mag cases in here 
weapon cases, uh, med case. We have, you know, all these mini fridges, grenade case. I mean, we got so much shit. The thick case is one of the best items in the game because you can put so much shit and you can hoard even more shit. So make sure you guys are working your way up to level 35 and you're going to focus on some of those therapist tasks such as healthcare privacy and then private clinic which requires you in private clinic to have a found and raid off Moloscope and a found and raid Aledex. So if you guys have those items stocked up already, you'll be good to go. Complete private clinic and you will get yourself a thick case. You can also hit level 35 to get max loyalty for therapists and do some of the barters, which I will show you now. One of them is super inefficient. I would never recommend it. And another one is very efficient. So this one right here, 15 defibs, 15 Ledexes. With how rare Letties are, this wipe, I would not recommend this one, and I'm surprised it hasn't been changed yet. But this one, phenomenal. Doing your moonshine in your hideout. If you have your hideout upgraded that far, it's going to be cranking those suckers out, so you don't have to pay like 260000 for them, I think they are now in the flea market. 35 vodka, you can buy them pretty cheap. I think they're like still 20 25 k and then the whiskey are like 40 k now, um, but... Honestly, I think it's like 10 to 15 million that you have to invest if you would be buying everything from scratch right now. And uh, the thick case is definitely one of the best items in the game, man. Next is going to be using tack rigs to stack items in, man. They actually save you a lot of space. Um, let's see, where's my storage one? Right here, you can see I have tack rigs everywhere. And it actually was a lot worse at one point. But just putting stuff in these tack rigs right here, this is a 12 slot. It's a 4x3. But it is a container size of 20. It's not the best. Don't get me wrong. It's not like a thick case. It's not like any of the other cases. But if you're going to use these tack rigs at some point in the future, if you need to stack up some items really quickly, tack rigs are a great way to do it early wipe. Obviously, once you get some cash, go ahead and buy some cases once you're level 15. But if you're not level 15, tack rigs are your next best thing. And a lot of you guys, when you first spawn in or you first start your wipe, will have a bunch of commando rigs or some sort of rigs like this. They look just like this. They're container size 16, and they only take up 12, so you get four extra spaces there. I never use my tack rigs off the rip. I always use them just to store shit in until I get some azimuts or I get maybe like an MPPV or something like an LBCR, which is, can hold two helmets in it, which is very nice. So there's a lot of tack rigs that can do a lot for you. AVS can hold two helmets as well, which is very, very nice. Just stuff like that is worth noting and worth mentioning. Now, this is going to be the last tip in this video here today. If you guys would like more tips on how to organize your stash, what should you sell, what should you keep, all that stuff, just leave it in the comments. I can make a follow-up video, but I want to keep this one semi-short. So the next one is your weapons and your weapon cases. Now, not all you guys are going to have weapon cases, so you can do this in your stash if you want, but for me, I do it in the weapon cases. In this example here, we have a couple weapons, but this MCX, it's taken up way too much space. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out that magazine and we're going to take off that pistol grip. And now we're going to get ourselves another four spaces. So if this was in your stash and it looks something like this, make sure you take off that pistol grip and take out that magazine and it's going to get you an additional four slots. Maybe you have a rifle that's a lot longer. In this case, let's see, can we throw this on there? I think we can. We can. So you can see this MK17. This bad boy is taking up a shit ton of space. We go ahead and take off that pistol grip, we're going to free up what? What is that? Seven slots we just freed up? And these guys are folding your stocks too. It's going to get you one extra space for that. So it makes packing everything together a lot easier. So make sure you guys are folding stocks, taking stocks off if you can't fold them. Uh, sometimes that will help. Not always though. Um, but if you have pistols, sometimes you can take suppressors off. If you have rifles, sometimes you can take suppressors off. Like right here, let's say you wanted to buy the suppressor later. We can go ahead and take this suppressor off and it will actually free up one space. Now, it doesn't really do much if you want to keep that suppressor, but it's there if you need it. So that is going to do it for cleaning up your stash, some basic tips and tricks. If there's anything else that I forgot to mention that is kind of a basic one, drop it in the comments. But if you guys want a follow-up video on what to sell, what to keep, and just to clean up your stash on what you should be selling in your stash, let me know in the comments. I can certainly do that. But for now, that's going to be it for me. Make sure you guys drop that like, subscribe if you're new, sponsor and equipment description below. It's going to be it. Thank you for stopping by. I'm out.